Praise the Lord, precious saints, and welcome to another daily prophetic utterance to start your day. The Lord is saying today, are you tired, my child? Are you worn out? Or maybe you are even feeling burnt out or dry on the inside. But I beckon you to just come to me. Yes, get away and be alone with me and you will recover your life. Yes, I will bring a times of refreshing for your soul. And when you truly seek after me with a relentless heart, yes, I will show you great and mighty things for which you did not know before. I will show you how to take a real rest in the shadows of my presence. Therefore, walk with me today. Yes, work with me today and watch how I do it. Learn the unforced rhythms of my grace. Learn to keep company with me each and every day and you will learn to live freely and lightly. For whenever my spirit comes, there is liberty and there is freedom. And whoever I have set free is free indeed. See to it that you seek me early without all the distractions around you. Yes, there is more to my presence than you see this very day. I will call you to go deeper so that you can go higher in me. Is there a holy dissatisfaction within you today that only wants more of me? Are you dissatisfied today? Then it is time to seek me, to soak in my presence. Learn to extend your time of prayer and worship to me. And you will see this revival that is coming. You will see the signs, the wonders, the healings spoken about in my word. Are you hungry for me? Are you hungry enough to sacrifice yourselves on the altar today and tarry also in prayer and fasting until I come? Are you hungry enough to carry out all the things that I'm commanding you? Are you hungry enough to cry out to me? Are you hungry enough to give up those things that are keeping you bondage? Are you hungry enough to put aside your hobbies, to put aside your television, to put aside your social media to spend time with me? For without sacrifice, my child, your hunger will never be filled. There is a price to be paid in following after me. There is a cost to be paid and there is a cost for you to see revival. Yes, my child, are you willing to pay the price? To pay the price that my presence may come and pour out upon all flesh within this hour upon your loved ones, upon your churches, upon those around you. I desire for my revival to come, but are you hungry and thirsty after me? For your hunger will determine your visitation. Do you hunger for me like never before? It is time for you to stir up your hunger for me and the things of the Spirit, and you shall see great and mighty things for which are about to be revealed released upon the earth. Therefore, be at peace and come to me with all of your burdens today, and I shall give you rest. Shalom. Praise the Lord, precious saints. Are you hungry today for a mighty move of God? Because I know I am. I'm starving for a fresh anointing of power from on high. I need God today more than I did yesterday. I am blessed and I was blessed yesterday, but I want to walk. I don't want to walk with God just yesterday. I want to see him today and I want to anticipate something greater is coming. See, it's my prayer that the Lord would fill his house, not just the building of brick and mortar, but his house of flesh where the spirit dwells fill this cup lord we lift up the lord today come and quench this thirsting within our souls we need bread from heaven feed us with bread from heaven till we want no more Stir up within us, O oh Lord, the fullness of your Holy Spirit. Help us to grow in our relationship with the third person of the Godhead and to live in his power and to use his giftings. O oh Lord, we pray 
You have promised us the Counselor, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, as you said in your word in John 14, 26, who will teach you all things and will remind you of everything that I have said to you. Help us to remember that we don't know everything. And that it is okay because the Holy Spirit understands it all. Fill us with the Holy Spirit and with his understanding of everything that is happening within our life. We hunger for more of your presence, Lord Jesus. And we hunger for more of the Holy Spirit of the living God within our lives today. Fill us today. Please come and flood every vessel, every person that is listening today and flood every well with inside of us. Any area that hasn't been filled, change the atmosphere around us. Touch the hearts of each person today in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord. Let your plans be done within our life. Let your will be established and in the lives of all of our loved ones. Lord, I pray that you would come and touch us from the top of our head to the soles of our feet. Lord, we thank you, Lord Jesus, and we thank you for what you're doing and what you will establish within the hearts of each person today. Those that are hungering, those that are thirsting after to your presence. You are the comforter, O Holy Spirit. Help us to let go of the losses within our life. Heal our hearts today and help us to face, Lord, any challenges that we may challenge today. We know that you are with us. Comfort us and all those who mourn today, who need forgiveness, those that have lost their loved ones, come and comfort them today. Lord, I pray that you would touch us from the top of our head to the soles of our feet. Lord, we know that you have freely, Lord, given yourself to us, Lord Jesus, that we may have life and life in abundance. But Lord, I pray for each person that is suffering today. Lord, with life's hurts, wounds, sufferings, trials and difficulties. Lord, I pray that you would come and strengthen them. You would come and heal the inner man today in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we pray, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord, that you would come and touch and help each person that needs helping today. You will touch them from the top of their head to the soles of their feet. Lord, that you will bring revival in this end time hour like never before as each person seeks your faith. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And I just have some words of knowledge here uh, for someone that is listening right now. There is um, a lady uh, in the reproductive area of a lady Um, There is an issue with odor and itching. So if that's related to you, that's personal. Lord, I pray that you would come and bring healing to that area of odor and itching right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, that you would just come and touch that person right now in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now, I just specifically want to pray with someone with a heart condition today. If that is you today, I want you to place your hand upon your heart. And I'm going to believe that God is going to bring the healing and freedom to you right now. Heavenly Father, I pray right now. Lord, I pray for healing to every blood vessel, to every artery, to every situation, every every area of this heart. Lord, I pray for complete healing and wholeness of what you have created it to be. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I speak healing and wholeness. Lord, I also speak to anybody with a with a spine injury anywhere on your spine if you can't place your hand upon your back then just place it upon your chest right now heavenly father i speak healing to this injury in the spine in the name of jesus christ i speak healing and wholeness to that also someone with an issue in the wrist specifically in the right wrist lord i pray Lord, for healing in that right wrist right now, whatever has taken place, bring healing and wholeness to that area right now in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I also pray for someone's, there there is someone that uh, you've had a disagreement with someone, you've tried to warn them about something and God's just saying, okay, now that you've warned them, just let it go, just let it go and allow him 
to deal with the situation. So Lord, I pray for that person right now, whatever that situation is. There's no need to, to message. There's no need to whatever. Just now surrender it back to God and allow God to bring his fullness of his purpose in that situation also pray for financial increase as someone that's going to receive a financial increase that's going to come and you'll be like wow that was god and it will be a god must. there's also another person with an area of a foot i just saw a foot so lord i pray whatever that issue is with a foot lord that you'll bring healing to that area of the foot right now in the name of our lord jesus christ i also see somebody as though they were uh, entering into a house for the first time so i believe that that represents you're going to uh, be moving or you're going to be given or getting a new house or a, or a new place that you're going to. So Lord, I pray that you would open up the doors for the impossible to come in relation to that home, to that place that you'll be entering into. Uh, the Lord is also speaking to someone with a mass, muscle spasm. There is someone that has a muscle spasm right now. I just want you to place your hand uh, upon that area of the spasm. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus that body will come under the perfect design of God and that spasm will stop now in the name of Jesus Christ. I also want someone to place their hands upon their hair. If you have a hair issue right now, this particular time, the Lord has saw, saw someone placing their hand on their hair. So if you place your hand on your hair right now, Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, whatever that issue is, maybe it's hair loss, whatever that hair issue is, that you, it's a personal thing that you've been praying for. God is going to come and respond to that area right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Come and touch that person right now in the name of Jesus Christ. And also God said, God is calling you to be still. There is someone that has been very busy. It's like you're more of a Martha than a Mary and coming and spending time with the Lord. God is saying, stop being so busy and come and spend time with me in this hour hallelujah so may the lord bless you and touch you and each person whatever condition whatever situation you have god bless you from my family to yours god bless you.